sometimes I have no idea of what to post, what to talk about when I go on live. And in order to address that, I have five categories of social media posts that you should totally try and start posting today. Now, I said five topics, so chances are you're going to pick one category and plug it into your weekly calendar and you'll be able to share and creating content and share your story throughout your whole entire week. And hopefully if you're like me who love to plan ahead of time, you can actually use these five categories to plan ahead your social media and schedule them ahead of time. So it takes a lot of that unnecessary overwhelm and stress, stressful moments that you have to come up with new things to talk about all the time. Before we actually go to those five categories, let me just explain a little bit why this is a topic and why this is a thing. So I work with a lot of heart-centered women coaches who have a big mission and one central mission to do good in this society, in this world. And many of them show up on social media because they're teaching others to live a better life, to eat better, to be healthier, to be happier, to have more abundance in their, in their life. And so when you became a coach, chances are you didn't have that um, mindset of I'm going to make a profit. You enter coaching because you want to make an impact. But little did you know that by entering your coaching industry and having a business and being an entrepreneur, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more before you can start making that big impact. So the thing that a lot of women coaches I work with, and they're very heart centered, they're all service based mindset. So they want to help, they want to be in the world and be an influence for others to be the change agent for others. And so making profit is usually the last thing that comes to their mind. They're not about making profit. Profit is great, but money doesn't really buy that fulfillment, that achievement that you want to, and the reason why you became a coach. You want to do something that you love and that makes you feel that you're adding value to the environment, to the world. And you truly believe, and this is how I believe too, that life has a bigger purpose. And that is the reason why you became a coach. And that was the reason why I became a coach. I didn't just think about like, oh, how many figures am I going to make in? I thought about that I want to make an impact. I want to inspire more people so that they can experience something that I had experienced. Right. So that was the reason why I entered coaching industry. I became a coach first because be, before I became a marketer, <laughs> it was just something that's random and became my niche. My niche found me. Right. But, you know, when I first entered the coaching industry, I thought I'm going to change life. And that's all I was thinking about. So I was looking for ways to make more value, add more values to people's life. How do I do that? I do, I go on social media, I create video, I write blog posts. And I'm like pretty much everywhere. I wrote a book and all these things that's coming out from a service heart. But the problem of being a heart center woman coach is that you don't want this aggressive way of marketing yourself, but you know, you do have to market your coaching package, right? And that's the dilemma that I found myself sitting in. And that's the dilemma that a lot of my clients are experiencing. They don't want to market themselves. They don't want to put themselves under the spotlight because, you know, truthfully, the clients really have the answer to their own life, right? I was a coach first and having gone through that journey of having to figure out all these marketing strategies and marketing ways that feels authentic, it feels good to me. I had to like figure a lot of these things out. So my hope is that by sharing these tips and strategy with you, it will make your time and the struggles a lot shorter and a lot easier so that you don't have to go through what I went through. <laughs> and it was very discouraging to say the least, right? Because when you are posting on social media and no one really care about it, or when you are writing a blog post and no one really like, tell you how amazing it is or how unhelpful 
it was, no matter what it is, you would like to hear something, not just like those silent crickets that you hear all the time. The five categories of social media posts that you must try that would actually help you to attract your clients, engage them and invite them into your space without feel like it's that yucky, the pushy way of marketing yourself. And, and that's something that we're going to talk about today. These are the top five that I have found that had helped me tremendously because it takes a lot of that, that anxiety, that overwhelming feeling, waking up in the morning and not knowing what should I be posting today? So what I typically do is I will plug in all these top five categories onto my monthly calendar, whether you are a digital planner person or you're a paper planning person, what I would recommend is you take those five categories and open up your calendar and you plug it in into your weekly calendar. So you have five days. I'm assuming that you're taking a day off on Saturday and Sunday so that you can spend time with your family, right? So you have five days out of the week and you can plug into every single day, a different type categories of posts, social media posts that you can share with your audience. And I'll give you some example of what falls into each categories. All right, you ready for this? I hope you are you ready to get my cookies. So the five categories are first category is something along brand awareness. You, your company, your business need to be seen, heard, and known, right? So the first category is sharing something that talk about your business, who you are, what you do, and why you're doing it. And those are the important element that goes into that initial brand awareness. The second category is something that's very authorities, uh, establishing or building your authority. Things like maybe you were on a podcast interview. That would be a great authority building type of social media post that you can share. Not only do you help promoting someone else's podcast, but they also allow you to be seen as, well, I'm getting an invite on the podcast. So it must be, must mean that you are speaking on a specific topic that makes you somewhat the expert in that particular topic that you're speaking on. Number four, promoting your business. Now, this would be a great opportunity to specifically market your business, right? And I'm using the word market. I know a lot of people, a lot of my women coaches, they don't use the word marketing because they hate that word marketing and selling but they don't have a choice. <laughs> they would have to talk about their business if they want to have a business, right? So if you don't want to talk about it as in promotion or marketing or selling, then talk about sharing, okay? All we're going to do is sharing what is it that you love to do. And just so happen that what you love to do, you will also like to get some monetizing return out of this. Okay. And I think being a heart center woman coach is very important that you get into that conversation in connecting, making your connection with people. You got to start treating people like people, right? And which is why a lot of times when I offer my, my email list or growing my email list, I don't necessarily call it a newsletter. I don't want people on my newsletter. I want people to receive my emails. I want people to receive my email because a lot of time I share tips and inspirational stories or transformational stories in my email. And I'm seeing them as someone that's like close to me, not, not a stranger who just happened to stumble upon my newsletter. But conversational starter is going to help you building that community so that you have more people, more audience wanting to hear from you, wanting to engage, they're more open to engage with you, they're more open to receive anything that you are putting out into the world. So those are the number five category. So let me just wrap up and summarize the five categories of social media posts you must try starting today. And those five categories are the brand awareness, authority, community building, promoting your business, 
and conversational starter. So those are the five categories that you must try to post on your social media and guarantee you when you narrow it down to just these five category, it takes a lot of headaches out on what should I be posting today? 